Hi everyone, it's Kevin Mike Bar's YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I'll be reviewing a round two loss against the Saints. Now, if you are returning Kevin Mike Bar's, welcome, like, comment, share. If you're new to the channel, watch this for the first time, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now, we went down by 15 points in a much better effort 14, 10, 94 to 12, 7, 79. Um, the positive, there was a fair few positives that came out of it, um, during the, during the game as well, like our first quarter, like we kicked the first three goals of the game and, and we looked really good, um, with our ball movement, it looked superb, but then a few skill errors, um, just the way that, you know, not marking the ball, not punching it out of bounds and just giving St Kilda just easy sh um, shots at goal as well um, probably didn't help our situation but having said that too um, 5 one to 3 so in that first quarter and let's let's just call it for, for how it is so and I'll go through each of the quarters but now only two goals up at, at court time, but okay, well, the injury slowed the momentum down a little bit and gave St Gilda a bit of a chance, but I think some of our skills were poor, again, the turnovers did, did cost us and probably didn't work as hard enough in defence, but just the way that we did play, it, was disappointing. So I don't think it was a bad probably first quarter, but two go margin I thought yeah, why not? That's probably a good chance as well. And then we kick four goes three twenty seven to one one seven in the second quarter. Now they kick the first goal the same and we kick Four goals and absolutely got in front by eight points. And I was thinking, all right, here we go. We've done all our hard work. We've done all the momentum. You know, let's keep it going. You know, and there are some very good signs in the first half as well. We kicked seven goals, four compared to six two as well. So there were a lot of positive signs. One. One seven two five two thirty two no, five five thirty five. So five five thirty five to to one one seven in the third quarter. Look live at ten hours punching the ball again. Um just really you know, giving St Kilda time and chance to really run into inside 15 and just you know hit, hit the targets as well so that's probably a good reason for that and then 3 3 21 to 4 2 26 in the last quarter now St Gilda were 33 points in front and it looked like you know downhill and we were within 14 points and then a brief kick to go to, to reduce the margin somewhat to 15 points. 16 points and it was 15. But I will say that apart from this, the skills as well, some of the arm buying, like the amount of calls they gave, the amount of non-calls as well, like the Jordan DeGoe held when going forward um, that was happening. Darth Moore copped a few high. But yeah, you did St Kilda. That was a free kick as well. So there were really signs of just purely based on how terrible the umpire were. Pay holding free kicks to St Kilda, but didn't pay one to John DeGoe. Um, also, front on contact, you pay one against Frampton, but yet you didn't pay one to Bob Hill or. You know, some of our players as well that cop funnel contacts like 
or where was the free kicks for that? The hole in the ball was paying to St Kilda didn't pay much to Collingwood. Like incorrect disposals, throws that didn't get paid as well. Um, the Jeremy Howe like playing on outside boundary. Like, he didn't play on, he didn't move off his line. He stayed on his line. Like, I just I just don't get with the umpire on how bad that was. And we'll, we'll go into the game because I think the skills were poor and our decision making were poor. But let's have a very good look as well. So Jamie Alley kicked the goal, then Jack Higgins kicked the goal. A rush behind to Collingwood, Patrick Lipkins kicked the goal, and then Reef McKinnis kicked the goal. And then Obviously, the injury happened, and that's when the Saints got on their own. So you had Max in, kicking his first, Liam Henry missed, then he kicked the goal, Brad Hill kicked the goal, Jack Higgins kicked the goal, which was the easy goal they ever did. And why would you punch it towards the back? And that end court time, I thought, okay, that would have been the chance as well. Remember, we kicked the goal for the Saints in the second quarter. Um, Lockie Schultz kicked the goal, Jamie Elliott missed, Cooper Sharma missed, Brody Mychek missed. Probably could have kicked to be honest. Reef McKinnis kicked his second and Patrick Lipinski kicked his second. Darcy Cameron kicked the goal as well and then he also missed as well. And then that was the half time margin when we were out to eight points and thought, okay, here we go. Max King kicked the goal, um, Tim Member kicked the goal, Jack Higgins got an easy goal from a still side bottom. King kicked his third, Jamie Allen kicked his second, Memory missed, Rush behind the pies and Cooper Sharman missed as well. Darcy Wilson missed, Mitch Harrens missed and Cooper Sharman kicked the goal and then Rush behind for the Saints and that was in the three quarter time. Then Liam Henry just stood up in the last quarter, kicked the goal and then he missed. Uh, Philip Roo kicked the goal. Jamie Alley kicked, kicked the goal as well. That was his third. Bobby Hill kicked the goal. Then he kicked back to back goals, which was great play from him. Jamie Allen missed, which probably could have kicked as well. Jack Higgins kicked the goal. Philip Roo missed. Jack Higgins missed. Ruth McKinnis kicked his third, and then obviously a rush behind as well. Um, so, again, that was the results that go no way. And now, with the stats, 398 to 348 disposals, kicks 244 to 203. Handball was 154 to 145 as well. Inside 50 as well, 55 to 42. So, they're probably deserved to win that game considering that the, the repeating entries that they had 76% disposal efficiency to 72 43, efficiency inside 50 is 43% 24 shots from 55 inside 50 is to 45% 19 shots from 42 inside 50 and then the heat out the, the free kick count sorry 30 to 16 like the amount of touch free kicks that St Kilda got, the amount of free kicks that they got and that Collingwood didn't get as well, like, and, and it, it was blatantly obvious, and they even said it in the call as well. Hit outs, we had 47 to 13, so we dominate in that. Again, just got to win the clearances, don't we? 35 to 31 clearances, centre clearances, 16 to 10, stoppage clearances, 21 to 19, so we definitely got our hands in the footy as well. 142 apiece contested possessions, 247 to 202. Turnover 78 to 79. Intercepts was 79 to 78. Um, timing possession 50% to 36. That's what happens this quarter 46 to 35. And then 33 to 28% as well. Marks 106 to 79. Again, that's what happens when you know 
you just bomb sometimes and, and you know, it gets intercept as well. Marks in top 50 with Dominator, 10 to 9. And contestant marks 15 takes. I don't know what happened with that. Um, the last goal was 20 minutes and 26 seconds in the last quarter, and then for us, 29 minutes and 17 seconds as well. Time in front, 80 minutes, 37 seconds, 37 minutes, 57 seconds, 33 compared to 13 as well. Um, one rush for St Kilda compared to three rush for us. Again, some of our opportunities that we probably could have kicked as well. Um, but we did kick some through the big sticks as well. Tacklers 54 to 52 as well. Tackles in the 450, 10 to 1. General play of the bounces two apiece. And then 44 to 42 in um, 1%. Is. And the interchange 68 to 65 as well. Now, the positives. Now, there were plenty of positives as well um, in in the game. So let's have a look at it. Josh Dacos, 29 disposals. I thought he was sensational for us. The Pinsky, 22 disposals with these two goals. I thought he was sensational as well. Darcy Cameron, 13 disposals, 26 hit outs, one goal one. And he really took six marks as well. Penderbury had 20 disposals. Um, did what he needed to do. Jamie Allen had 14 disposals, three goals two. Probably could have kicked about four or five, really. Jack Chris had 22 disposals as well. Tom Mitchell had 17. Maynard had 24. Mychek had 13 disposals and a point, but he took five marks. Mason Cox, 21 hit outs. Five marks, five tackles, seven disposals. He, he does get held a fair bit. Like, he... You know, there was a few times where, like, he does get held on to. And, and I think we do need to look after him a little bit more. Reef, I thought, was superb. 12 disposals with these three goals. So he couldn't do any worse than that. Nick Dacos had 22 disposals. I thought he was good as well. Um, Lockie Schultz kicked the goal from his 11 disposals with six marks. So he actually got... You know, with the footy, with these 11 disposals, and then 16 to Sabon was a little bit quiet, but did what he needed to do. Bo had 13 disposals with the five tackles. Quainer had 15 as well. Billy Franklin had 15 with six marks, and he did what he needed to do. Howe had eight, um, 12 disposals, I should say. And Dugowie had 13, so he was there. Markov had six, and Finn had three. So, again, like, I think that we made the wrong call by having Finn as a sub. But there were certainly positive signs out of that when you had Jamie Elliott performing well. Um, Reef McKinney's played well. Even Bill Frampton played really well. Our second quarter was good. Our fourth quarter was good. Our ball movement in the first quarter was good. But, again... Um, that's what probably tends to happen is when we were able to get the ball moving forward and we, and we used it well, um, you know, we were really damaging as well. But the, the negatives were our skill areas and just poor judgment like side bottom. I think finding Bill Franklin or Dustin like punching the ball inside the field playing instead of punching it out of bounds and just getting the throwing and just really working on that as well. So that would have been disappointing. Our third quarter was definitely disappointing, allowing them to kick five goals two. Even five goals one, like, we could have restricted them a little bit. And even in the last quarter, like, the, the way that St Kilda just got mo moving as well, um, look, the positive was their last quarter for us. They were able to attack. But at the same time, um, you know, you just got to be able to, you know, be better with the footy in hand. That's all you got to do. And what made it worse, in my opinion, the umpiring was a disgrace. Now, I've called that out already. I think that definitely does need to talk about that. If you're going to pay for one, pay for the other as well. Um, 
But the performance out of 10, look, the skills were there. The turnovers were there. I think that could have been a 6. But I think you got to give Ashley praises for that. I reckon 6.5 out of 10, I think that's where I would do it. Um, so Saints friends, congratulations. Um, you know, you guys played a lot better. And, and we just turned the footy over. As simple as that. And the umpire didn't help. You know, the out of bounds, no matter, like, the non-free kicks that Collingwood didn't get as well. I can rave on about that. Um, but it does look like, you know, you guys came out to play. Five-day break credit to work to. Um, don't forget to drop a like and also drop us up. Bye for now.